Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from beautiful North Carolina, and I know what you're all waiting for. Let's get right to it. The winners of the giveaway. First place winner for Santa's Workshop, Michael Ray. Second place winner for the well-groomed guy, Wolf's Ranger 2008. Congratulations to the two of you. Thank you to everybody who participated and thank you for the very kind comments. Really, really appreciate that. All right, if for those of you that have won and are cheering, congratulations. For those of you that have lost and are trying to wipe your tears out of your eyes, sorry, but there can only be two winners. Let's get on with today's shave. I have two products for review. The first is a shaving soap from La Savonnière du Moulin. This is uh, the donkey's milk soap. It's, there's a couple different names on there. Le Petit Musienne aux Fleurs de Bach. This is a very lightly scented soap, which I'll show you in just a moment. But let's talk about the packaging for a moment. This is a soap that is made with 30% donkey's milk and honey. It comes in this, uh, in this wooden container. So these are just very thin slats of, of wood that have been folded and stapled together. I would describe this packaging as rustic. It does come with a pretty cool feature though. It comes with a piece of natural sponge or, God, name just went right out of my head, but you know what I'm talking about for scrubbing. Anyway, I think you can put the soap back in there um, to dry out when you're done. I've left it in the Captain's Choice loading bowl. Lufa, that's the word I'm looking for, Lufa. Um, the soap, which has donkey's milk and honey in it, has a very kind of like an interesting little light honeycomb pattern on the top there. Uh, the soap puck is smaller than I expect. Let me just squeeze that back into the Captain's Choice loading bowl. Smaller than I expected, but that's in part because it's resting on top of that piece of loofah, which I did not realize was in there until I unpacked the soap. It is a vegetable soap, not a vegan soap, because of the donkey's milk and because of the honey. And of course, if you're a strict vegan, honey also falls out of the picture. All right, today's brush is going to be the Rodney Lignum Vitae Boar Brush, my absolute favorite boar brush. It's been soaking for five, maybe 10 minutes. Today's razor is going to be the Icon X3. There's a label on the bottom there. Icon X3 Slant. This is the same Vizamet Pole Silver Blade from last week. I have not changed it. It is still going strong. I think this is, I think this is the 12th shave on that blade. Okay, let me wet my face and start lathering. We'll talk a bit about the soap, the scent, sort of how it's gone all week. All right, let's lather this up. Now, um, I would definitely recommend uh, starting with a bit of a dry brush. The bowl is only wet because I've sort of been rinsing out the, um, the leftover lather from the previous shave. I'm just gonna start loading the brush. Now, what happens here, and this has been very consistent, the initial load, as you can see, starts off a little bit frothy and a little bit airy, but that does not last for very long. So I'm just gonna keep loading the brush. I'm gonna load pretty heavy. And I would definitely recommend, by the way, that don't, don't be like sort of chinzy with the soap. You need to get a good load on. All right, that's starting to get there a little bit. You can see there's a bit of a dense cream starting to form around the soap. I'm gonna add a touch of water, just drip it on top of the soap and just keep loading. And you can see what's happening now inside the bowl, it's starting to spill out and over. But that is still a little bit airy and foamy, but not to worry. All right, well, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna scoop that out with my finger and we'll see what happens here. There we go. Now, the trick here is to start lathering the soap without all of this falling in the sink. So, I'm just gonna dab it on and then hope for the best. The scent on the soap is a very light, like a very slightly sweet floral scent. I would say in terms of scent, the scent is very, very light. Certainly very pleasant. I don't think you're buying the soap because of the scent. You're buying the soap because of the shave quality and the soap quality.
That was close. All right, I'm going to add just a bit of water because it still feels a little light. And I think that'll probably be your experience as well. This needs a bit of additional water to really be able to knock down the initial set, initial airiness of the, uh, the lather. But as you can see, no issue building the volume. Still sounds a little airy though, so I'm gonna add a bit more water. Just paint that in and then just continue to work it a little bit. There we go. That's looking pretty good. A nice, slick, sort of shiny, glossy look to it. All right, let's get that out of the way so I don't end up eating some of that soap. All right, let's go ahead and get the shave on. Now, Icon X3, a very nice slat razor, a milder slat razor than many. Very easy to use, very easy to shave with, at least in my experience. Handle is short and a little bit squat. Very, very nicely textured though. All right, let's go ahead and start shaving. This is, I think, this honestly is either the 11th or 12th shave on this blade, because I think I started with this blade in the razor last week, and I'm still using it through this week. Blade is still going, still going strong. Yeah, the soap, the soap is slick and feels, feels a little creamy and sort of fatty on the face. But, at least for me, it just it doesn't feel quite as dense as I expected it to. No, that's not a negative. It just in my mind when I first started lathering it, I just had this impression that it was going to be kind of a very heavy, dense, creamy lather. Definitely creamy and definitely slick. but not as sort of heavy and dense as I thought it would be. Yeah, even though the scent is really mild, it's actually just a very pleasant, clean, very lightly floral, soapy scent. All right, let's lather up for pass number two. And the brush has had a little bit to sit, just, just a minute or two, really. It's only been, what, two or three minutes, maybe? That lather has lost a bit of its air. So as you can see, this is a little bit thicker and a little creamier. Yeah, very, very easy to work with. I've had really good luck with a lot of these milk-based soaps. There's another one from France, which I'll actually probably try to use, maybe not in the too distant future, which is a very similar, uh, similar formula, which is another milk-based and honey-based soap. Milk-based soaps in general do very well for me. You know, definitely post-shave, skin conditioning, and sort of general creaminess and slickness. Um, yeah, very good. Yeah, razor is still 
still moving smoothly over my skin so that blade still going and if I feel like it is still you know still holding together I may continue to try that for next week as well yeah I've had some really really good shaves this week surprised at how smooth the blade still was Definitely doesn't feel as sharp as it did in those first couple shades, but still getting the job done. Yeah, and even though the soap is maybe a little thin on the on the protection side, no issue with dissipation or sort of, you know, falling apart. Yeah, just a really easy, comfortable shave. All right, last pass. The only spot that that razor really has trouble with is right under the nose. I'm going to scoop out some of the lather that's still in the loading bowl. Just use my finger to pull that out. I don't really want to see that go to waste. This, in fact, may be a two-finger job. Put that back onto the brush. There we go. Wet my face again. There we go. I'm going to add just a touch of water to the brush again using my now patented Friedberg dripology methodology. And let's just work that in again. As you can see, there is plenty of leather in the brush for this pass and a fourth pass if necessary, which won't be. There we go. Squeeze out some of the remainder because there's still quite a bit in there. And as you can see, that's got a very nice, kind of sleek, glossy look to it. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's rinse my hand. Final pass. Now, this is where we'll have to do maybe a bit of extra buffing because this razor is pretty mild, but not to worry. Very, very light touch. Really just sort of leverage the slickness of the soap. I also purchased, when I bought this soap, I bought a bar of their bath soap, which I also really liked. If you're wondering, yes, the same, same style of container. Wow, that blade is still doing remarkably well yeah always enjoyed using this razor just a very easy easy to use mild slant I do have a tendency for some reason to Overshave with it a little bit. Not sure why, but
Yeah, that blade is starting to lose its luster a little bit. But still, in the scheme of things, All right, almost done. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. There we go. All right. Stop before you overdo it. Yeah, just a one touch right here. Pretty good residual flickness too. I mean, I really don't recommend doing that. I mean, really strictly speaking, even though it's slick, it's still better to always shave with lather on your face, obviously. But I think most of us simply can't resist a few touch-up strokes just using whatever's left. All right, soap is a little bit hard to rinse, so this may require alternating, alternating hand rinsing. All right, let's rinse off. Man, pretty, pretty nice. So the only surprise for me with the soap is that I thought that the post-shave skin conditioning would be, would be better. But although the immediate feel is pretty good, like there's a slight greasy feel to it, like a bit of a sort of a, you know, a fatty feel to it. At least for me, that doesn't last. Like for the days where I normally shave as a test and then leave it sit, go have breakfast, and then come back and use whatever aftershave I'm going to be using, um, tighter and drier than I expected. Okay. Let's move on to the second product for review today. It is from a new artisan in Scotland. This is one of them. This is Bart's Balms. Um, they sent me a number of different products for review in two different formats. One is this uh, oil style, and this is, I think this is fractionated coconut oil and argan oil with a few other ingredients included. The other version of this is a kind of a milkier, creamier balm, which I'll use in a later shave, um, probably sometime during the next month. So what you do for this, uh, oh, first of all, let me just, um, the scent. Amber and Morocco, Moroccan Jasmine. I have a really hard time saying Moroccan Jasmine for some reason. Uh, this definitely is described as smelling like Creed Aventus, and it definitely smells a good deal like it. There's kind of a sweet, um, like a cooked pineapple scent to it. It has a good deal of warmth to the scent. It does have a bit of a kind of a floral, slightly citrusy scent to it as well. This particular scent, it smells great in the bottle for me. It smells a little less good on me. I don't know quite why that is. Um, that's just the nature of the game with scents sometimes, and that's no no issue with the product itself. I really enjoy these oil-based aftershaves, so I'm going to just squirt twice. Um, it is a bit of a kind of a, uh, a hard pump action, so just be prepared. It may squirt out a little bit more. I have two pumps in my hand. I'm just going to rub my hands together, warm it up a little bit. Yeah, see, that smells good. And then just apply it. It's a very, it's a kind of a light, light oil. Not quite as powdery as some, not quite as dry as some, but definitely not a heavy, greasy oil at all. Very easy to apply, very easy to work in. I've been using two pumps. You could maybe get away with one. Just keep warming up your hands and just gently work it in. 
Yeah, these oil-based aftershave splashes or balms, tonics, lotions, they, they really work well for me. You know, I definitely miss the big splash and the hit of alcohol for the alcohol-based aftershaves. But in terms of skin conditioning, something like this, I think is just a better choice overall. Now, obviously the thing you could do is apply the splash, alcohol space splash first, go do something else, have breakfast like I do, and then come back and apply this after the fact for that second layer of skin conditioning. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Scent definitely changes once it warms up on me, but I think that's just me. There we go, Bart's Balms, Jasmine. This is the Amber and Moroccan Jasmine. All right, let's do a quick review. Wow, actually guys, that is not bad at all. That's 12 shaves off that blade, man. Well, all right then, I just wipe my hands a little bit. Let's review the products for today. La Savonnière du Moulin, this beautiful French soap, 30% donkey's milk, a touch of honey added, a light, gently floral scent to it, just smells soapy and clean, very pleasant and uh, extremely easy to use. Very good lather, easy to build, very good slickness, to my taste, a little light on the sort of the density or the protection, but as you can see, that did not really have any impact on the shave. That's just kind of the feel of the soap. Today's razor is the Icon X3 with the Visa Met Pulse Silver Blade from last week. I'm gonna try it on Monday morning with another razor and we'll see how it goes. It may not last through next week, but we'll see, you never know. And the final product for today from Bart's Balms, the Amber and Moroccan Jasmine. See, perfect that time. A very nice argan oil and coconut oil based aftershave lotion. I'll use the uh, the other style one hopefully in a couple weeks. Goes on easy. Uh, I think it does a good job for my skin. You can definitely feel it on your skin for quite a while. Very, very nice product. All right. Oh my God, I almost forgot. The Rod Neep Custom Bore. It has lost in the last week a hair or two and that, uh, well, psychologically difficult to take, but I think it's still all good. Fantastic brush, love this board brush. And yes, for those of you who are wondering, in the order of things, that brush is at the top of the brushes that I have just because, well, it's the best brush I have. It's the brush that I love the most. There you go, there you have it. All right, I think that's it for today. Oh, wow, okay, thank you again, as always, so much for watching. I really appreciate the time you're taking to watch these videos. As always, please feel free to leave a comment or question against this video or any previous video. As always, thank you again so much. And until next time, goodbye.